Hi Geeks and welcome back to another episode of Glasgow Geek. Today we're going to look at the whole conspiracy theory of time travel. Again, we'll have some pictures up here just to, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about and make sure I'm not messing up. We've all heard about the theory of the time traveller and also there's been many pictures, many videos released over the years of people that may be time travellers that have been spotted throughout wherever they've been. Obviously you've got the guy that's dressed a wee bit out of character at the Niagara Falls I think it is that he was at. The person that was spotted using well what looks to be a mobile phone in the Charlie Chaplin movie and there's also one of a girl coming out of a factory again what looks to be a mobile phone in a hand don't get me wrong it is a big thing but again problem with these is obviously photos and pictures and videos these can all be edited and photoshopped also there's been many over the years and they've been checked nothing's come out of it nothing we've heard anyway what I'd like to do today is show you some other pictures and proofs that I've seen on the internet over the years and a couple of stories. The first few that I've got are actually set in stone so they're also a lot harder to fake than they are in a picture. First one I'd like to show you today is some hieroglyphs that have been found inside an ancient temple within Egypt. I'm right in saying this, it's actually set to the first temple. If we take a look at the image up here, you can see the actual hieroglyphs themselves. Now they look an awful lot like an attack helicopter. Now I don't know about you, but I don't remember seeing anything in the history books about an attack helicopter being released in the ancient Egypt when they were building all the temples and the pyramids. But that's there on the hieroglyphs. Don't get me wrong, I've not heard anything about any attack helicopters going missing at this time either. But then you don't know what the government are looking to cover up. There's also we've heard of the Philadelphia experiment before. Who's to say they didn't try again and just what happened this time? The attack helicopter happened to travel back in time to the ancient Egyptians. It would explain how they got the big massive bricks up the top of the pyramids. But what am I to say? Maybe that's aliens. Ooh, that's another video. Moving on from that one, but keeping in line with the ancient theme and artifacts and that sort of thing, this image is dropped up online quite a few times and it's of the ancient Mayan Incan region and it actually looks exactly like an airplane. Well, an ancient airplane, let's put it that way. Also, there's a number of ways that you can hold it, but maybe it's just the way that we are used to seeing that now. You know, but it certainly does look like an airplane. I think there's a video online of someone that's went ahead and built a replica plane out of that model and it works extremely efficiently and extremely well. Now, is this proof of people traveling back in time and creating the plane for the Inca period? Or is it that in Lost, instead of the plane disappearing altogether, maybe it's went back in time and maybe that's what's happened. Also, you've got the Bermuda Triangle where a lot of things do sort of disappear. So who's not to say that they actually go back in time and also when the ancient Mayans, the Incas, saw the technology, they thought they could replicate it. Another one that's been carved in stone, cropped up within ancient Greece. We can see what decisively looks like someone opening up a laptop. Now again, that could be our perception of what a laptop looks like. This is instantly what we see. Back then it could mean something a lot more innocent. But it makes you wonder again, was this someone that's went back in time and happened to drop the MacBook? And obviously we, the ancient Greeks being like, ooh, this is fancy. This is, must be godlike technology. Let's put it in stone. This one certainly got me the heebie-jeebies because I can't really think what else it could be. But again, I mean, perception, that's what goes for it and we don't know exactly what it is. But it certainly does look like a laptop. Again, within the ancient times, there's also been a story that's been put out there. Then there was a discovery of a mummy in ancient Mongolia. Well, an ancient Mongolian mummy within a tomb who he appeared to be wearing Adidas trainers. Now you can see the image up here. Again, to me, it looks like a pair of Adidas trainers. But what does it look like to you? Maybe it is our perception. Maybe someone went back in time and had to lose their trainers. This could have been because they were running out of the Mongolian tribe at the time and getting chased and just went for it. I mean, who says to say that time travel itself in any timeline is going to be an accurate? It's like any other form of travel. If you kind of forget where you're going, if you don't know what exit to take, you could end up in a totally different place. Who's to say they're not the same idea as impossible with time travel? And if you take the wrong exit, you end up in a wrong period of time. Finally, one other one that's been carved in stone doesn't date back quite as far as the ancient Greeks and ancient Egyptians, but it is still back there. Is this image that has appeared within the walls of Salamanca Cathedral in Spain. But to me, this 
looks decisively like an astronaut. Not even any astronaut, an astronaut from our time period. Obviously it's got the grooves and the boots at the bottom, so obviously they can get a better grip. And they've even got the helmet on. Now if I remember rightly, this cathedral was built around about 1100s to um, 1200s, so why would they know anything about, anything about astronauts back then? There's a theory of course that it could be an alien, but again, I, I've never heard of any aliens having to wear spacesuit kind of technology. Finally is the story of Ralph Fence. This cropped up in 19. 50-ish and it's a story of basically Ralph Friends who was someone who appeared in the middle of Times Square dressed in very different clothing to what was everyone was wearing at the time. Obviously 1950s was the rock and roll period that was just getting into the rock and roll period and especially in the centre of New York Times Square it was a busy hub of everything even back then. So this character showing up out of nowhere and tragically got knocked down moments later. Now when they done the autopsy they found a number of different things that were very out of character for the timeline and also were like very ancient but not aged one bit. There was a token in there for one beer. There were seventy dollars in old banknotes, and there was also a bill for the care of a horse, which again was very out of character for that time. Now, also the police did do an investigation. There was an address found inside his pocket as well, which happened to be a business at the time. Also, they checked the business. No one knew his name. One officer decided to take it a wee bit further and investigated a wee bit more than he probably should have done, but he was intrigued by it all. He looked up the name Ralph Fence in the book and happened to find a Ralph Fence Jr. When he went to speak to him, unfortunately the man had died, but his wife was there and she actually answered some of the questions. She stated that her husband's father disappeared in 1876, age 29. Now that matched the timeline and the description, sorry, of the person that was found in Times Square. Well, there you go. That's six different examples that you may not have heard before about time travel. Most of these are set in stone, which are very hard to fake, uh, a lot harder to fake, than a photograph. Now I'm one of these people that believe that time travel could be possible, and that with time travel paradoxes, maybe you can't, you know, turn around to someone in this day and age and say, by the way, I'm from the year 3002. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a good thumbs up, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and remember as always, to follow us on all our social media, our website for our blog, to follow the latest reviews from Jamie, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, that's where we post all the latest news stories, and Snapchat, where we'll probably vlog every day. So, until next time, keep geeking!